Do you think M4 Mac Mini is just an overhyped machine or is it actually fast in video editing? Now there are plenty of synthetic benchmarks and numbers out there for this M4 Mac Mini pitting against all kinds of different computers out there, which is needed, especially during launch, but a lot of times you look at those numbers and go, what does that even mean in real life? For example, this is a Puget Premiere Pro benchmark I ran between these three computers and that last one that demolished the other two is a old PC laptop by the way. So today I want to put some realistic meaning behind those graphs and numbers and do some real life tests. In fact, it's so real life, my kids are on this video by the way guys, <laughs> we have so many snow delays and school closures starting 2025, it just kind of happened. And speaking of which, if you're watching this around Lunar New Year, Happy New Year round two. And when I do these real life benchmark on this M4 Mac mini against two other computer that may seem kind of random there's actually a significance on these two other computers and I'll explain why at the end of the video so make sure you watch that and you know what guys I'm glad I made this video because some of the test results were really surprising and I could not have scripted this any better you'll see what I mean so here it is so let me introduce you to my seven-year-old son say hi hi <laughs> and my ten-year-old daughter hello <laughs> And really the contestants here. So this right here is a 13th gen i7 processor with GeForce RTX 4060. That's gonna come in handy. So when I bought this two years ago, I paid $1,700 for this. Today it's probably worth around $1,100. And here we have M3 Pro, 14 inch MacBook Pro here. This is the base model, has 18 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of hard drive space. And of course we have finally M4 Mac Mini that's over here. This is the absolute base model. This costs around how much? $600. And I forgot to mention that this laptop cost, when I bought it, it was $1,700. Today's it's worth. I have no idea what it's worth, we'll see. <laughs> so now that you guys know how much these machines cost, let's make it a little bit interesting by playing a little game. So we have some prizes over here. Yes, I stopped by Asian grocery store. And this drink is called Pororo. Mango! <laughs> and even though they had so much sugar past like several yellow. days, uh, because we had some snow days, but we're gonna do some benchmarking and contests of these three computers, and you guys gonna vote which one's gonna win. <laughs> Here's how it's gonna work. If you get it right, you get a prize. You can both vote on the same computer and still get it right, but you just have to split the prize. But let's make it more interesting. So if one of you guys get three right out of the four contests we're about to do, the audience get to participate on the next video. So I'm gonna do a giveaway on the next video. It's gonna be a video gear of some sort, but you guys will determine that's gonna happen or not. Wish us luck! So let's do a quick practice. So the first competition among the three computers is which computer turns on first and gets to the login screen oh, first. Easy. You go first. Which one do you think it will turn on first? Processing. PC. <laughs> All right. So she says PC. What about you? Mac. This Mac? M3 Pro Mac. Yeah, okay. Ready? That one's take so 10 this hours. one is on the. All right. When I say go, everybody push the power button. Ready? Okay. One, two, three, go. Hands on. Here it comes. Here it comes. Which one? It's gonna be the PC. This one, this one's not even registering, but it's gonna go straight to the windows. And the one, that is on the login screen first. Oh, no. <laughs> so $600 computer, it just boot like that. So this also doesn't count. When I say go, you're gonna double click on the actual okay. file, okay? Well, Ready? Ready? One, two, three, go. I'm loaded in. All right, so Daddy. same versions of Premiere Pro across the board. Um, no, no, one, no, it's already I don't know, done. That one, that one came up me. pretty quick too. First test is something called warp stabilizer. So this is something that he does very often. In fact, I spend so much time doing this effect. I'll probably spend more time doing that effect than spending time with you guys. So, hey. <laughs> you know what warp stabilizer does? Yes. So if the footage is a little bit shaky, you apply it and it kind of smooths it out for you. So it's something that I apply a lot. So we're gonna apply a war stabilizer on all the computers. So your job right here, first contest, is to guess which computer will finish first. You go first, which one's- That one! Okay, this one. Oh, <laughs> he's catching up. All right, what do you think? <laughs> you gotta pick quick. <laughs> all right, so they both picked the M3 Mac Pro. Ready and go. Oh, that was a good start. 50, 50. Oh, 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 this is gonna go. 50, I'm at 50 now. Now you're 56. Oh, this is close. This is Wait, really where close. Where does it say? Where does it say? Oh, the fancy. Oh! Yeah! Oh, no, no, no. 
no, no. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait between wait, these two. Wait. Oh, oh, that was so close. I won the prize. Where Dang, I'm impressed. I, like, I've never done this like side by side. I had no idea this is so fast. So this one, I, I'm gonna give it to you. Okay, I'll have to review the footage later, Can but I'm gonna one? give it to you for Guys, now. Guys, we're gonna put it in <laughs> slow motion later at the end of the video. So next test is called the render test. All right, so which one's gonna win first? You go. Which one? All right, so he thinks the PC's gonna win. No, don't press it yet. <laughs> I'm gonna pick the mini. Oh, M4 Mac mini. Here we go. All right, hover over export. Two, one, go. Okay, here we go. Mine's already! Well, here's the thing, it's not always true. Whatever you look at here could change any time. Six minutes! Okay, so here's the here's the other thing. As it's exporting, the computers get hotter and hotter. When the computers get hotter, Fire. it gets slower and slower. So that's another variable here. I'm out. You're, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm playing StarCraft. Before. Wait, okay, fine. You wanna come back? I'm gonna have to sit here. A few moments later. Oh, dang. This PC is uh, completely punishing the other two. It's right. demolishing. You see, guys? It demolishing. <laughs> Look, guys. Four minutes, nine minutes, six minutes. That Let me cook. Three, two, three, two one. one. All right. A hundred. hundred percent, but not quite done. That needs to disappear. Disappear right now. Yeah. Okay, complete. Three. Okay. Two, two one. hundred percent, but not done yet till you see that. It just... All right, that one finished. All right, so we just gotta wait till this guy finishes. Three minutes later. Ten All right, minutes. Done. Okay. So... That took so long! All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and like summarize that whole entire thing at the end of the video, but let's move on to the next test. So this program is called the After Effects. So that uses a lot, but one of the things I really love to do is called the 3D tracking, okay? So we're gonna click on this track camera button when I say go. But before we do that, we need to vote. All right, you wanna go first this time? Which one's gonna win finishing 3D tracking first in After Effects? What is this? The graphics card. <laughs> Nvidia art. Ooh, she picks the PC. Okay, your turn. Which one's gonna win? Oh, M3 Pro. Okay, interesting, interesting. Okay, two, one, go. Oh, that was a good start. That was a very fair start. Okay, here we go. Analyzing. 7%, 8%. Ooh, ooh, 20, 29%. Oh, damn. 79, okay. This is fast too, by the way. As soon as it's, oh, orange, orange. Okay, between these two, between these two. Ready? Yeah. Dang, so. And for Mac Mini wins this one. Honestly, that was my second choice. Oh, oh wow. orange! Okay, that was like way too late. <laughs> one more. Ready? Ooh, yes, final test, guys. So this is really, really what fun. What if none of us get it? Oh well, then the audience don't win <laughs> anything hey! on the next video. No, no, I have to win it <laughs> in order for the oh, so, You have to. No, so, guys, cheer me on down there. Okay, so he has a chance. So if he wins next one. The audience get to participate on the giveaway on the next video. Yeah! So this is good. Alright, so the next test is something you guys like. You guys like gaming? Oh! Okay. Okay, I'm gonna cook in this. It's called the Unreal Engine. So go ahead and click on Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine! If you're yeah! really good at this, you can design your own games. We can really play with we it. Can cook. So we're gonna calculate the frame rate of the live preview of these projects, okay? So which one of these is gonna win? Um, <laughs> Alright, you gotta pick one in three. Ah! Two, one, pick. Oh, M3 Pro. Okay. All right, your turn. Which one? Hi, hi. PC. All right, PC. There's a project already made, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on. No, that looks sick. What is it? 3D. Yeah, it is 3D. Oh. All right, go ahead and it's click like... on that. Okay, I'm gonna be so good at this, guys. I play so over a bunch of 3D right. awesome. And then just go ahead and click. Three. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh mine. Wow, the M4 was pretty fast no, too. It's, it's, well, it's not about who launches a project first. Uh, it's okay. about who has the smoothest well, frames. Well, to tell which one has the better frame rate, there's a shortcut. Control Shift H, and then Command Shift Mine's H. All right. So as you move around, the frame rate will change a little bit. So I'll be the judge of it. So I'm going between like. 14 to 23 on this one. Mine, Dad, look at mine. <laughs> I'm gonna 
Yeah. Mine's at like 58. Yeah. I'm gonna lose. It, this is in the 50s. This, oh man. 24, 22, 21. Yeah! <laughs> you guys get to participate in the next video, guys! Oh man. Alright, you can take my son on that one. <laughs> So those are some of the real life video editor benchmark of the base model M4 Mac mini. And to keep this video so much short and manageable length, if this video does well, there will be part two where I talk about at what point does this M4 Mac mini drop frames and stutter for video editing. So if you guys found this video helpful and want to see more, please hit that thumbs up button. It'd be a really good feedback for me and YouTube. Although spoiler alert, M4 Mac mini scrubs through 4K 10 bit video timeline fairly well. But even with just part one of this video, you guys can already tell that if you're looking for a budget video editing computer, this M4 Mac Mini is really hard to beat. One huge downside, as you guys already saw it, when it comes to video editing on the M4 Mac Mini is that it doesn't do very well on MP4 video exports and the key being relatively. Now, I did make a real life mistake rendering that five minute video earlier. So I rendered in 60p instead of 24p. That's why it took like forever. <laughs> but to me, maybe, and to some of you guys, rendering time is not a huge deal in real life. I don't really sit there and watch the percentage go up. I just go make a sandwich, you know? Unlike a war stabilizer, that I do stare quite a bit and just get distracted watching YouTube shorts usually. And just for the record, when I slow down the result of that war stabilizer effect benchmark, the actual winner was M4 Mac Mini. So in real life, that counts more to me than faster rendering times. And of course, there's the 3D side of things like Unreal Editor with free access to virtual production these days. I decided to include that test because I wanted to see if I can dabble a little bit. Although realistically, I think if 3D editing is more than something you want to just dabble, I do think the base model M4 Mac Mini is gonna fall short on that. But to answer, why are these two computers so significant? And that has to do with the near future. As you guys know, M4 MacBook Air is right around the corner, if not launched already by the time you guys watch this video. And we may have a scenario where incoming MacBook Air is going to be faster than the outgoing Pro chip MacBook Pro and certain video editing tasks at much lower price or come close to it. And of course, Nvidia has just launched their RTX 5000 series graphics card and that's gonna make it into a laptop in very near future. And just looking at the specs, it's gonna be a very interesting year for PCs. Uh, remember that Puget Premier Pro benchmark score for these three computers? The reason why this old PC laptop got such a high score is because it's just that good at exporting MP4 videos. And that just on the outgoing RTX 4060. Imagine what the RTX 5070 is going to do, especially for the Unreal Editor. In essence, these two computers are going to give us a window, no pun intended, into what's coming in the near future. Let me know in the comments below what kind of computer are you guys rocking in 2025 for video editing. I hope this video is helpful and if you want to participate in the next giveaway and the next video, thanks to my son, uh, make sure you hit that bell notification and the subscribe button because the timing on that window is going to be pretty limited. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Till next time guys, take care.